I wanted to bring Ride on the Road to Ridgefield because in part the population explosion has been amazing. Get this, the 2010 census, about 4,500 people. The 2020 census, over 10,000 people. And as we give you the wide view, you can still see there are beautiful acres of farmland, the wildlife refuge still around town. If you fly east of town up toward I-5, you quickly come into housing development after housing development. That Not that long ago, were just farms, and one of these fields is soon gonna be a new Costco. Scott Hughes, you look like a hardware guy. Oh, Rob thank Hill. you. Yes, <laughs> for a number of years now. I, I don't know been. what that means. I hope that's a compliment. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> so this is your store. Yes. What makes your store unique? You know, really what makes it unique is the, the products we carry because we carry what the people need in this town. We have a few things like individual nails if you want that kind of stuff. Six cents, well, 619 actually. You pass the six tax. Cents. Six cents, yeah, yeah you there's tax. tax. Is there still, that used to be a coffee shop. It's still a, a coffee They're shop. still there? Yes. What else do we have in downtown? We have the coffee shop, we have your hardware store, I noticed a florist. We have our little grocery store. The food carts are new and they yeah. are booming. Been waiting for this moment, award-winning Sugars Barbecue downtown Ridgefield. Number one seller on the menu? Ribs. Ribs, number one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Our barbecue stands alone. It doesn't need sauce on it. No. Okay. That's the reaction we're looking for right there. I'm the perfect customer. I'm totally in love with what I'm eating. <laughs> Jazz, blues, rhythm and blues. I've played it all over the years, so it's all kind of mixed in there. What do you love about Clark County in general, living out this way? Smaller, littler, not too much political stuff going on. There is, but you're not really going to get stopped on the street. Mayor Lindsay? Hi, how are you? Good Welcome morning. to Richfield. Right We're so glad you're, you're here. You have and a train. we have a train. You know you're in Richfield because you got a train. Dying to show this off. So I live in Clark County, so I can say this. Now to me, this is the fanciest place in all of Clark County. <laughs> I yeah. think it's amazing. You said I, I, if I want to be cool, I could call it the Rourke. The Rourke. Which stands for? The Richfield Outdoor Recreation Complex. I happen here to see the Richfield Raptors. Am I getting it right? Yes. yes. We are the crosstown rivals of the Portland Pickles. Crosstown rivals. Uh -huh. Now we're That's getting right. somewhere. Oh, I know. But it's great. I've been out here, and the stands are packed, and people mm -hmm. will be sitting here. You got cornhole, uh, kids it, running around. It's yep. like coming to a, a minor league baseball game. It is. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And it's here in Richfield. Richfield's not New York City. How did you come up with building all of this? We had some really innovative, forward-thinking people um, in the city on city council and the school district, and we we're trying to think of ways to provide those amenities that were really important to the people who were moving here to Ridgefield. Um, Ridgefield has been growing, it's no secret. Yeah, sure it that. is the birthplace of U-Haul, and yeah. I should be more up on my U-Haul history. The U-Haul moved out, yes? <laughs> Why do we have to bring that up? I mean, well, <laughs> I guess technically you're correct. That's what you all does. You really shouldn't feel bad about it. I Come guess on. So. I guess it was inevitable, wasn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs>